I recently just got a question uh, from somebody asking me about the G League process as far as like the G League tryout process. So just wanted to make this video to answer that question and to give that person who asks and also other people that are interested what the routine is for that process and also what I feel they need to do to succeed. All right, so the question my man Emmanuel asked me was, hey Cameron, can you make a video on what went down at the G League tryouts? Example, what drills you did, how many games you played. Uh, we really appreciate it, man, thanks. So Emmanuel, I got you today, man. So to begin with, the first thing you're gonna do is, you guys are gonna do a warm up where as a team, you guys may jog, uh, do some stretches all together, things like that. But I would suggest, first thing I would suggest you do if you're going to an open trial is to get there maybe an hour early. Get your own sweat, get some shots up before it gets loaded with guys on the court because these tryouts are about 100, 200 people that go to these. So the earlier you get on the court, the more reps you can get by yourself and the more you can be prepared to get going. Then after the warm up and the coach is talking, uh, most cases you might do a drill or two, but it's really going to just come down to playing games. That's what the coaches want to see and that's what they'll let you do. They're not going to spend too much time trying to run you through too much. They might put you together in teams and have one of the coaches of, of your team teach you a play or two so just so you guys can have a little bit of structure when playing rather than just running around so after you guys get with your team you gotta see who you with then we get straight to playing you usually play uh three games or sometimes even less than that one or two but the most you probably play is about three or four um and you'll probably play five minutes in and out because it'll be a lot of players there. So you will usually have 10 to 12 players on your team and you'll have to sub out every five minutes. So it's kind of hard to be effective when playing like that. It's really hard to catch a groove when everybody knows they got five minutes to make it happen. Uh, maybe they give you 10 minute quarters. They may do that to uh, make sure guys get their groove, but it's a hard process to really show what you have. So it's important, like I said, to get in there early, make sure you get some shots up so that when you actually are in the game and you're playing, uh, you make them count. First thing you need to do when you're going into a open trial situation is to understand everybody there will not know how to play basketball. Do not spend your time getting frustrated with the players on your team or the players you see don't get frustrated, do not. Literally play above that and understand that this is for a bigger purpose. Every time you get the ball, you have to show your dominance. You don't know how many times you'll be able to touch it in the game. So every time you touch it, just make sure you're aggressive with it, you're creating plays for others, as well as creating plays for yourself. But don't just get the ball and be passive with it. Rebounding, rebounding, rebounding. Get the rebound, because the more rebounds you get, the more touches you get. Lastly, be vocal. When you're in this process, it's important that you stand out as much as you can. You stand out by being a vocal leader on the court. Even if you're not saying much, just always be talking. Be positive. When a guy misses a shot, don't throw your head up. Don't throw your arms up. Show positivity. And that's all I got for this video. Uh, for uh, my man, when you asked me the question, man, I hope I answered your question. Um, it's uh, luck of the draw, too. Don't don't put be hard on yourself if you don't if you don't get chosen. You don't know what teams are looking for. Sometimes teams are just they go into the situation saying, "All right, we're just going to get two big men. We're getting we want to get a guy over six six. And if you're a guard, you six three, six four like me. There's nothing you can do about that. They may say, "Oh, he's a good player, but he doesn't meet the. We already have a guard. We already have enough guards. We need a big man. We need big guys to get taken to training camp." So, like I said, you don't know what these teams are looking for. So don't, don't put that on your head. Don't you understand? You can't control certain aspects. All you can control is playing your best and playing your best in this situation. And sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. So.